another Indian civilian murdered for supporting quote-unquote blasphemous politician. On July 21st, Umesh uh, Kohe, a pharmacist, was brutally killed on his way home after shutting his drugstore in Maharashtra, India. A few days before his death, Kohli shared a post, a post in a WhatsApp group supporting Nirpur Sharma, the controversial ex-BJP spokesperson who made quote-unquote blasphemous comments against the Prophet Muhammad. The authorities suspect that a Muslim member of that WhatsApp group, Dr. Yusuf Khan, a close acquaintance of the victim, forwarded the post on a pro, to pro-Islamic groups that ultimately led to the murder. According to the police, the suspects monitored Kohli, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his name, for three days based on CCTV footage that they had retrieved. On the night of the murder, Kohli shut down his shop around 2, 10 p.m. and headed home. The attackers ambushed him, stabbed him in his neck, and fled the scene. He was pronounced dead upon his arrival at the hospital. On June 23rd, the police arrested seven people in connection to the murder, which included the alleged masterminds Irfan Khan, Khan and the leader of a local is- Islamic organization. So, okay, let me break this down. So you, we, most people would be familiar at this point about the beheading that happened in Udaipur because the person allegedly supported Nupur Sharma and then the Islamists came after him. So apparently this murder actually happened one week before the Udaipur killing, but for some reason, news of it started to circulate one week after the, the Udaipur beheading. So there are a couple of different versions of what happened. So one version of what happened is that this man, Umesh, had um, a post in a WhatsApp group that supported Nupur Sharma. And in this group, it included some of his friends and colleagues and customers. And so one version of it is that there was this guy that he knew, Dr. Yusuf Khan, who was a Muslim, who was a member of this group and was offended. And that he went and forwarded the message from Umesh, supporting Nupur Sharma, forwarded it to pro-Islamic, like radical groups on WhatsApp. And that then it just spiraled out of control. It got into the hands of this guy, Urfan Khan. And he basically implemented a conspiracy that involved like seven to 10 people to go kill Umesh. So that's one version of events. Something else that I've heard is that he was sending, so Umesh was sending this post um, supporting Nupur Sharma in several different WhatsApp groups and that he accidentally sent it to one that like included Muslims and then that's how it spun out of control. So there are two different stories, but the one that I've seen covered the most is that it was this person that he's actually known since 20, like 2006 like this guy that he's known for years, like 16 years, like a friend in business and person he would do business with basically sent this message along to people who ultimately killed him. So it's really tragic and. Kashmir files confirmed. What do you mean? Like he had a friend that was like, was a Muslim. Oh, <laughs> Oh boy. It's, just, it's exactly like it happened in the movie. They're like, oh, my friend, my neighbor, we like, uh, this is my, you know, buddy. Like, I could trust this guy. And then, like, secretly, like, he's here. He's hiding in the rice place. Basically. So you're you're saying that this is basically confirming the stereotype that's being promoted. I'm not. I'm, no, no, I wasn't being serious. I'm just saying some people. I, I wasn't being serious. Okay. Some I'll people will see it as validation that your yeah, ordinary yeah, yeah. Muslim friend will turn their back on you and turn. Yeah, yeah, turn yeah, you yeah over like Every Muslim, like, a moment's okay, notice. But YouTube, this is not my views. Okay, but some people like generalize and they would look at this and were like, see, you can't trust them you can't trust even the ones who are your friends they will like because they have they have that muslim thing in them and then like and eventually they will turn on you okay so again this is like so basically the people who are de- doing this are going to make life very difficult for muslims as a whole uh, in india like every you know because people this is how people are going to perceive stories like this like you can't you know mm. these are even the friendly neighborhood Muslim that you think he's like, he's different, right? Like, look, look what they do, right? Like, when the day comes, they will. By the way, YouTube, none of this is my view, okay? Like, don't look at <laughs> I know, describe. I'm getting nervous. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just describing other people's views, okay? So maybe I should stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should stop. <laughs> Something we don't hear very often from women. 
<laughs> so yeah, I think it's really important for us to highlight this because it shows the level of how like radicalized elements of the community are that all it takes is for them to receive like forwarded of a message of a message that someone said that they support another prophet or a, 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 another a different political figure and that this is justified as enough to murder them and apparently the guy who was the mastermind behind this murder conspiracy Irfan Khan he is the leader of like a local NGO like a local Islamic charity and that he got like radicalized over the past few years and that everyone was like, he used to be the super nice guy. And then he got really into religion. Um, so it's just really, it's really messed up. And it, you know, okay, this is something I was thinking about and Armin, I'm going to, I'm going to bounce this idea off of you and let me know what you think. This story reminded me of what happened to, to a certain extent to what happened to Salman Tassir. For those who don't know, Salman Tassir was the governor of the state of Punjab in Pakistan, and he was assassinated by his own bodyguard simply for saying that we should have mercy on Asiya Bibi, who was being sentenced to death for blasphemy against Islam. So simply for saying, oh, we should have mercy, simply for broadly showing support for her, he was assassinated. And this I mean, obviously, like, this person isn't a government official. There's a lot of things that are different. But in some ways, this case kind of echoed to me, saying, because all he did, his only offense was supporting someone who allegedly did the blasphemy. Same thing with Salman Tassir. He simply, he didn't commit blasphemy himself. He simply was showing support for the person accused of it. And that resulted in his death. And the fact that there are elements of the communities that are like that radicalized to replicate that attitude within India is really concerning to me. What, what do you think about that comparison? I, I mean, yeah, I mean, it makes sense, but based on, okay. So basic, given that the standards are supposed to be hurting people's religious sentiments, all right. Um, th that's the law. Okay. So, if you want to apply that law, then you should. Nobody should be able to say that, hey, I support uh, Nupur Sharma, okay? Because now, see where this is gets, guys. You see where these laws get you? Because where's the line, okay? But mm -hmm. where's the line? Where are you going to draw the line? Like you have shot yourself in the foot. We're like, hey, well, this is our country. Our, hey, you foreigners, you don't understand. You, you, this is our laws. Your our country is like, you know, we understand. This, this is how it is here, okay? We have our, we are more religious. We, our feelings are important to us. Maybe you guys are just a bunch of liberals. You don't get it. This is what you get now, okay? Because this is what your laws are doing to, to your side now, okay? Because technically, if you care about not hurting religious sentiments, now you're in a position where if, if you say like, hey, I support Newport, saying this is blasphemy now, okay? Just like make it so that like, hey, you say Newport, and like, don't finish it. Don't finish it. Sure, F-I-R, you say, F oh, I'm hurt. You said her name. Do not say her name. FIR is coming for you. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. mentioning her name should be now be considered blasphemy. Okay, He's saying I support her is obvious blasphemy in India. Okay, so you know you made your bed now lie in it. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah. So we should make an art of, of her. We should make like not like like we're not gonna make her into any sexy. She would be like badass. Like we, let's make an art. With Nupur Sharma, but she's like very like she's clothed and everything, but she's like doing something that like has a picture of I don't know Kali or something or Muhammad something. I don't know. Maybe we should do something with Nupur Sharma. What do you think? An art with her? I don't know because I, well, I'll defend her in this case. I do find her to be a hate monger in general. So yeah, but I don't love them. We're not going to stop. Is that? <laughs> Or, no, she's like holding a picture of like sexy Cali or something. I, it's not going to be something that she would endorse. Like, it would she be like, I, like, like, okay, we won't do it. We won't do it. But my idea would be that she would be some, doing something blasphemous against Hindu as a way to make peace with Muslims. We would depict her doing something blasphemous against um, Hinduism. Just so like, look, uh, equal, I'm going to equally do Islam and Hinduism at the same time. So that too, as, as a show of, 
as a show of good faith, it, it just shares certain videos. That would be my idea, but again, we can't do that because Susanna. It's actually against that. Patreon's policies. So. All right, there we go. We won't do it. We won't do it. All right. Anything else you want to add here? Um, Any comments you want to highlight? No, this case has been taken over by um, the NIA, which I believe is the equivalent of like the FBI. And so this is like reached a whole different level of federal investigation. Um, and it'll be interesting to see what comes out from this. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.